Hello everyone, this is Scott and today I actually want to give you a update on Bandicam. Bandicam is now version 2.0, yay, and as you can see the user interface has been completely redone. Uh, now that the element of the back end was changed, uh, mostly in the video settings and uh, it's mostly back end stuff like recording quality and things that they've changed. And uh, the program hasn't received a lot of attention as far as the recording ability, but this um, new user interface is very well made. As you can see, you have uh, gaming or DirectX OpenGL. So this is when you're recording games, and this is your screen recorder. They have different configuration settings. Oop. I don't want to change that, but uh, they have different configuration settings based on what it is you're recording. Uh, this is great because back back before we had to always like play by what they wanted us to and they were all the same settings so if you wanted to change the settings for a screen recorder you were not able to do that however now the configuration settings for both are individual and even though the settings are the same um, you can still change them like screen recorders if you want you can get a much higher quality out of because they're um, you, you did because the quality isn't going it's not going to be as large as if you're recording a game a five minute video of a game may be 500 megabytes while a five minute video of your screen may be 50 megabytes I mean it's just how it is it has to copy all of those images and all of the it has to copy all the content that it's seeing into a playable format and when you're playing a game which is extremely large and graphically intense it is a lot of work for it to record it um, not a whole lot's been changed other than the user interface. You can uh, just, it looks a very, it's very well done, I'll give it that. Um, if My settings are uh, Xvideo, Xvid, v, VBR, full size, 120, 120 uh, frames per second. My MPEG is uh, ML, is MPEG 1L2, layer 2, and then uh, 48. K hertz and stereo and 340 bit uh, 384 kilobits per second is my audio recording settings. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions about the program, where to buy it, who to get it from, ask them in the comments below. And if you need any help trying to set yours up, uh, put them in the comments below, and I will try to help you. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.